The seismometer we have on Mars is it's fantastic. It's operating as well as we could have dreamed. Um, it's exceeding expectations. The goal of InSight is to understand the structure of the planet of Mars. And the primary way that we're going to do that with InSight is by measuring Mars quakes. ETH Zurich is leading the international team that is uh, checking all of the data as it arrives every day and trying to detect and pass on the information that Mars quakes have actually occurred to the science team. We're down here in the simulator room of the Swiss Seismological Service and we're here today to show the first example of replaying the first events that we've recorded from our seismometer on Mars. So let's start with what we know, which is an earthquake. An earthquake from Switzerland takes 30 seconds and has very clear onsets, as we'll see. So this Swiss quake, um, we'll start with the P wave that, that you feel there. And then in a few seconds, we'll hear the S wave arrival. Slightly bigger. So that's the classic type of wave arrivals that we were hoping to see um, on InSight. The next thing is one thing, one step more exotic, which is the moon. So we load a moonquake into our system and see how, this, how that feels. This is the SP recording, so this will... Yeah, it's very narrow and on that. Yes. It's slowly getting bigger. The signal is very different. We have a, a much smaller uh, attenuation of the seismic waves, but at the same time we have a very strong scattering which means that the uh, um, shaking will go on for tens of minutes or maybe up to an hour. Next thing we'll load into the system are the mass quakes, which were discovered by the mass quake service recently. We want to know how they feel on the scale between the Earth on one side and the Moon on the other side. On Mars, we, we so far have seen two families of quakes, and so there's a higher frequency one, and this one that we experienced now was more the, the low frequency version. Um, we think this is probably pretty far away. The, the motions what, that we have here are amplified by a huge factor so that we can even see them, and because on Mars, the, the amplitudes are extremely low. Mars isn't as simple as we might have hoped. The ground motion is not like we see on Earth. It's sort of a halfway house between Earth and the Moon. We're really trying to put the various events in place. It's a big jigsaw puzzle at this stage. And we have a long way to go before we understand it, but it's extremely exciting at this stage. 